Hey, it's We Make Best here to drop a guide to every deck in Classic Constructed, and we're starting off with Fire. Fire is one of the most aggressive decks in the format. Fire looks to create wide combat chains to present multiple on-hit triggers from cards like Mask of Momentum. The core of the deck is based around the various head jabs that Fire has access to. These are what start your combat chain and allow you to give Searing Ember Blade go again. This makes it easy to activate Fire's ability and add Phoenix Flame to the combat chain as well. Flame Call Awakening can also add another two attacks to the combat chain. This is why Spreading Flames and Art of War are so powerful as they can add an extra four to six damage on any turn. Fire usually wants to end the chain with Lather Burst or Salt the Wound, which can lead to high damage output, or Snatch or Take the Tempo to provide cards for the next combat chain. Fire has access to Mounting Anger and Soaring Strike, which have very powerful on-hit effects. On top of being 4 attack with Go Again, making it very hard to block efficiently. Blaze Headlong is another 4 attack Go Again that can be used to threaten a Mask of Momentum trigger. Cards like Ancestral Empowerment and Razor Reflex add another layer of difficulty to blocking against Fire. Enlightened Strike, Take the Tempo and Snatch provide extra cards and can get go again from Soaring Strike or from Snapdragon Scalers. Fire's extra card slots are often used as CNC for Rangers, Sink Below for Guardian's Crush Effect, Zat All You Got for Mirror Matches and Rune Blades, and Belittles for Ice Decks. Fire has access to very good blocking equipment in Flamescale Furnace and Tiger Stripe Shooter, which allows him to keep cards in his hand but also block opponents on hit effect. Fire can switch between a Bursty deck with Mask of the Pouncing Links or Force, force the Opponent. Nearly one take almost, draped it. Almost. Fire can switch between a bursty deck with Mask of the Pouncing Links or force the opponent into blocking with Mask of Momentum. Fire's damage output is unrivaled when left unchecked due to his ability to go wide and draw extra cards. Fire is not very good at blocking. Most of his cards block for two, which can be problematic against the crush effects from Guardian. When Fire gets disrupted by Ice Heroes, his cards become substantially weaker when they're not comboed together. Is there any more weaknesses? No, that's probably it. Honest. Nice fucking deck. Fire can be built around harmonized Kadachis and more generic attack actions like Ravenous Rabble, Soul Beach Strike, and Belittle, often only running one Phoenix Flame, or can be focused on Draconic cards with Searing Ember Blade. The builds are of equal power level and have different play styles. Kadachis are very focused on Mask of Momentum. If two Kadachis hit, you are able to present a four attack and threaten the Mask Trigger. This can be forced over with attack reactions such as Razor Reflex or Ancestral Empowerment. The Ember Blade build typically has access to multiple Phoenix Flames and cards to buff the whole combat chain, leading to wider, stronger chain. Thanks for tuning in to our Fire Quick Guide. Let us know what hero you want to see next. We out. <laughs>